uh, here is uh, an introduction regarding uh, different phyla and uh, one of my student uh, Abdullah Shah he would introduce uh, different uh, specimens which uh, you will come across in your in your practical exam and uh, you also study uh, in uh, theory which we already studied in chapter 10 of first year part 1 this is porifera which has small sponges and its name is ascon okay ascon and the other is hydra which we studied in both first year and second year it is belongs to phylum serendata it is planaria and it is always we study in both classes which which is belong to phylum lady uh, helminth okay fine it is ascon and it belongs to phylum ascon helminth okay fine it is earthworm and it is uh, we studied in both part 1 and part 2 and it is uh, earthworm and it belongs to phylum annelida annelida okay, it is cockroach and it is most important long in both first year and second year for uh, mcat board point of view yeah. it it is cockroach mm -hmm. and it belongs to phylum arthropoda okay it is mollusca mm -hmm. it is all, it is an important because nice, we study nice. in board classes, it is belongs yes. it is belongs to phylum mollusca and it is unique. Okay, fine, fine. It is starfish, mm -hmm. which have a native ability than other all phylums, okay. and it is it belongs to phylum echinodermata. It belongs to phylum echinodermata. It belongs to phylum echinodermata. Okay. Yes. Next, next. It is uh, blangolus. Blano glossus. and it belongs to phylum. Hemi chordata. Okay. And it is chordata which we studied in modern uh, diversity. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In human and birds. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And it is it is the most important point of bird and uh, uh, biology point of view mm -hmm. because they are most of studied than other all phylums. Okay. They are chordata. Right, thank you very much.